deadly shootings seem to be happening more often right now. Nationally, gun violence is on the rise, and one local community is trying to take an honest look at its crime in an attempt to stop it. Hannah Branch joins us now live to explain. Hannah. Yeah, Alicia Valerie, tonight leaders in York invited local people to come out and talk about violent crime. Just two days ago in York, a teen was killed in a shooting, and it's something that the community says happens all too often. How many kids gotta get shot before we wake up and do something? Everyone seems to agree. Gun violence is a problem in York. But we're talking about the increasing number of gun violence. It is a public health crisis. Monday night's event was aimed at addressing it head on. I'm proud of the things we're doing, but there's a reason why I came with a notepad. Because if there's something that I'm not trying, if there's something that we're not doing, tell us and we're going to do it. And community members responded with answers for those leaders. Poverty uh, is one of the main issues that plagues our communities. Some even had suggestions. We have to give them community centers. We have to give them after school programs that last longer or something just to get them out of that reckless cycle of danger and drugs and alcohol and crime. Because it's the community members who know the harsh reality of the crime in their city. I remember when you gave me, people was giving me drugs in my pocket, go sell it. Nobody cared about me. That's how I felt. So it was easy for me to get caught up like this. But it took one person, one, to not give up on me. They're all committed to making a change. And they know it'll take time and work to make it happen. We cannot ch change things overnight. We have to invest in our children now so that they become the adults that we want to be in our society. A lot of the speakers also noted that while they do love forums like these, what they really think the city needs to be doing is trying to reach families and kids who are directly impacted by the crime and having these conversations with them. In the studio, Hannah Brandt, ABC 27 News.